I now have a new outlook about this page. A new perspective about this channel right here. You get flagged, prohibited from posting. And then I get news that you just broke the YouTube system. If anything, you ought to put yourself on that Black Air Force Council. But ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, CJ the Champ is back! finally completed and we inducted a man that could throw cinderella's castle as well as risen up the hoes but now we turn our sights to a man that brought hell on earth and a man who stole ah, Goku's ah. whole flow he copied my whole f***ing flow oh, word for word bar for bar will this mortal hate ass kai prove that he is him find out today on Goku Black and Zamasu. God Lord. Ningen. Wow. <laughs> hey, let's get it. It's been a while. Come on, CJ. Let's get it popping. <laughs> yeah. Off the bat. Off the bat, already got it. Don't even need it. <laughs> Boy, CJ, you over there. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'll be honest with y'all. I don't know how to start off this video. The brain fog is already kicking in. But what I do know is that this nigga was moving around like a goddamn death eater the first time you saw him. This nigga was just moving through the clouds, slithering and shit. And he had this man trunks looking rough. Bro looking beat the fuck up. Dusty as hell. Nigga lost his drip. Chin. And bro probably got his ass beat so bad, that's why his hair probably went from purple to blue. But nah, this man Black was playing no games. The first thing you see this man do is just straight up all future Boma. Bro, busts this up in the lab, causing mass property damage. Grabs Lord. Boma, looks Trunks dead in his eyes, and says, Fuck your mama, nigga. And eviscerates her. Dang. It's already bad enough that you got slapped by the God of Destruction. Then your future self gets offed like this. Wow. Like, my God, buddy, way to make a first impression. Bro, just off my nigga mama right in front of him. Like, yo, that's OD. But nah, this man was not done going for Trunks' loved ones. Because he went after his shawty next. So Trunks and Maya's trying to escape so they can go back in time. But this nigga Black comes in like a F5 tornado. And he ends up becoming the ultimate cock block. Bro, hit him with the... Enemy AC on death, and look at this man walk up on trunks. Bro said, move your dumb ass. So my decide to start laying some cover fire, but <laughs> come on, cut. The fuck is a gun gonna do against this nigga? Well, I mean, CJ, <laughs> Goku did get shot in the back in Resurrection F. Man, shut your bitch ass up. But anyway, uh, bro blew a shot of <laughs> And then we end up getting the reveal. Standing at 5'9", weighing about goddamn 200 something fucking pounds, the villain is none other than Goku. Wait a minute. And he like, <laughs> well, how do you do, you insufferable ape? Oh, I can't wait to beat the dog shit out of you. Mm -hmm. 
again. What did he say? Hey. This man Black started talking shit. Bro was looking down on Trunks and started saying, Are you done gawking over that dead bitch of yours, Ningen? <laughs> Why, bro? <laughs> Quick cry. She should feel honored that she had divine judgment by a god. Her and that dumb mother of yours. Well, Trust and lost it. He hit the Arthur. He ready to scrub. So he oh, punched him in the gut, and this nigga laughing like, <laughs> yeah, nigga, I get this divine ass with me. Oh. So bro started going off on Trunks. Bro was getting naughty. Walk. Then he started hitting with that key blast combo. <laughs> Ah, oh, he did it perfect. That's how they always be up in there when they shoot them key blades. Crazy. Man, Black start talking again like, for saying you was some hot garbage, little boy. Now get ready to join your mother in that dead hoe. So this man start charging up a key blast and hit him with that. Say goodnight, monkey. But Trunks is up throwing the sword at him like a boomerang. And that man Trunks was gone. He was not trying to hang around with this crazy ass nigga. Bro got his ass whooped so bad he had to jump to another timeline. So when Trunks jumps to the present timeline, the first but, person he is. Did he just. <laughs> We're not gonna skip over that. We're not gonna skip over that. Did you really just timeline. say. So when <laughs> CJ, you ain't got no chill. Oh my god. Trunks jumps to the present timeline. The first person he ends up seeing is Goku. Bro started freaking out. Black done gave this man immense PTSD. But nah, this man Black was pissed. Bro was like, Where the hell did you go? You goddamn saying <laughs> So this man Black said, you ain't going nowhere, hoe ass nigga. Cause this man jumped through timelines and ended up popping up in the present. So this man Black like, ah, there you are, pussy. Oh, and what's this? Is that my nigga Goku? Um, I don't know who the fuck you are. Uh, of course you don't, you primitive ape. So obviously Goku being Goku, he gonna try to fight this nigga. So bro like, of hey, course. it's me, Goku. Wow, you look kind of strong. Also, you kind of look just like me. You want to catch his fade? <laughs> Say less, nigga. So bro shoots a key blast at this man and sends him to the generic DBZ Canyon wasteland that they always fight at. So I <laughs> why Goku started handling this nigga. Bro hit him with this Rey Mysterio ass move. Then hit him with a old nasty key blast barrage. But this man Black was not phased. And this is where bro started to kind of get a little freaky. So bro started laughing and hit him with his catchphrase. What I see. Outstanding Goku. Hit me more. Hit me more. Mm. Uh, hey buddy, you like a masochist or something? Yes. Yes. Then bro even said some more outlandish shit. Bro said, your power is the only good thing your warrior race ever produced. I want to fill it up close, monkey. So Black started rushing him and laughing at the same time. And Goku is looking at man's like something is wrong with this nigga. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, Lord. yes, yes. Fuck is wrong with this nigga? And I thought I was fucked up in the head. So bro give him a good check and start smacking him around. But then Goku started laying hands on him. Bro said, you need to sit your freaky ass down. Then he kicked this man into another biome. But here go this man again saying some freaky shit. Yeah, Lord. Yes, Goku. You can hit me all you want. It's only gonna make me stronger. Hey, uh, I know you. Big fella. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, weirded out a little bit by that. Look like me, but you're kind of starting to freak me out now. So then Black powers up to max and does one of the nastiest combos I've ever seen. Bro charged up a key blast, threw it, used that as a distraction, and kicked the shit out of him. Sweet, great, googly, moogly, nigga, that's a backbreaker. But then this man Trunks had the bright idea to yell out, careful, not the time machine. And then this man Goku Black like, oh, so that's how you got here. This makes my that's job 10 that. times easier. So later on, while they're still fighting, Black starts to get pulled back by the time ring. So before he ends up getting pulled back to the future timeline, fans looks at the time machine and says, ah, fuck your shit, nigga. You bastard! <laughs> I am the pussy! 
Well, then later on after this, this man gets back to the future. And look at this man smiling and shit like he got heartburn or something. Somebody need to get this nigga some Tums. So then this man starts falling to the ground all graceful and shit. Then dude starts saying, oh, yes, Goku. With the ass whooping in the immense amount of hot bun you just gave me, I will take some Tums and drill your power into my head. And the next time I see you, bitch ass niggas, me and my nigga will run your pockets with pure divinity. <laughs> God, dog. <laughs> Yeah, alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Now, to fully understand Goku Black and what he actually is, well, there's one man that we have to talk about. And you probably know it already. This motherfucker Zamasu. Because uh, yeah. I don't know if y'all know this, but uh, Zamasu and Black are the same nigga. Yeah. Wow, I know, shocker. But anyways, Zamasu, the apprentice Kai of the garbage ass 10th universe, cause them niggas stuck in the tournament of power. I don't even think I remember anybody's <laughs> name on that team. But anyways, when you first look at Zamasu, nothing seems to be wrong with dude but i mean besides the fact that that motherfucking haircut is absolute garbage motherfucker ain't got no type of fade shit loki look like the james charles special but ah, loki, no 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 oh no Lord. not the james charles not the oh my god no God, Lord CJ. You know that this man was competing with Frieza for the title of the ultimate racist. I mean, you can start to see it when Zamasu and Gawasu had their daily tea party. <laughs> Master, your tea is of my, my Zamas. This tea smells divine. Now let's see how it <laughs> tastes. <laughs> My God, <laughs> this tea I love is it. divine and brings balance to the force. Uh, thank you, Master. But Master, I have some questions for you. Go on. Master, why do we have to watch over these foolish ninigans? <laughs> the fuck do you mean, my nigga? I mean, <laughs> that's our job. But Master, with all due respect, these mortals are just foolish inbreds. They'll do some stupid shit like pay $29.99 for a bitch's OnlyFans when the hub is free. <laughs> Thanos was right. Zamas, do not think like that boy. Well, master, what the fuck do you know? Zamas, calm yourself. You must not let the dog side take over. Now, as you can see from my demonstration, something is clearly wrong with Brody. I mean, he ain't wrong about the OnlyFans take, but, uh, but this man clearly has a disdain for mortals. But then oh, later yeah. on, more red flags started to pop up. Because when Goku, Whis, and Beerus came to Universe 10 to investigate, this man Goku runs straight up to Zamasu and says, Hey, it's me, Goku. Wow, you look strong as fuck. Fight me, nigga. Who the fuck is this motherfucker? Wow, you look like you don't even have any type of muscles. Oh, wow. You even lift, bro? How dare you touch me, mortal? Zamas, what did I tell you about that shit? <sighs> mean again. So while they're going around investigating, trying to find Black's aura, they make Zamasu fight Goku. So Goku powers up to SS2, and this man Zamasu looking at him like, oh, impossible. How is a mortal Ningen reach this level of power? So Goku started bull rushing Zamasu, but Zamasu hit him with that weave. Foolish <laughs> mortal. Now give me that neck. But Goku ends up countering it, and he ends up filling his aura, and he's like, oh my god. It's the exact same or as Blacks. But then Goku said, no more games with your zesty ass. The bro started pushing him back and Zamasu's like, oh, 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 sweet Jesus. This mortal's too strong. So then Goku smacks him in the jaw and that boy on his knees. But Goku holds his last punch back and he like, hey man, great fight. You should be proud of yourself. I mean, even though you're down on your knees right now looking like a bitch, great fight. You cocky <laughs> son of a... Zamas! Ooh, ooh, you lucky this old bastard's here. So after that fight with Goku, the madness begun. And the full transition to the dark side began. Because in this man's thoughts, he was thinking, Oh, son Goku, thank you for teaching me this lesson. That mortals are dangerous beings and they must be exterminated. And you, son Goku, oh, I will never forget you.
So then one day, Gowasu and Zamasu are observing a T-Rex caveman looking civilization. Now, as we can see, they are some barbarians. So Gowasu's like, ah, oh, the violence is troubling. But then this man Zamasu says, well, I mean, master, why don't we just deal with them now? Zamasu, what do you mean by that? Oh, master, you know exactly what the fuck I mean. Extermination, master. I mean, look at them. They're barbarians. So they end up taking the time rings and going to that world to observe the civilization. Now, obviously, as we can see, Zamasu is disgusted. So Gowasu's like, all right, we're going to give him a chance. Let's jump a thousand years into the future and see what happens. So they jump into the future to see if they progress. But as we can see, this civilization has not progressed. And this man Zamasu is thinking in his head. <laughs> This proves it. As long as mortals live in this world, this multiverse will never know peace. I, Zamasu, must be their savior. So later on, while they're still observing this planet, wow. they end up getting attacked by one of the dudes. So Zamasu wastes no time, but raised his hand and said, by the hand of God, you will be struck down. And cuts the dinosaur in half. Jesus Christ, so this is how the dinosaurs went extinct. It was this nigga. And at this point, it was over. Zamasu was lost. So now we go back to the future timeline. <laughs> and Trunks, Goku, and Vegeta are there because Boma fixed a time machine. And right when they arrive, the divine menace returns. Well, oh my, what a greeting. Monkey see, monkey do. Looks like three motherfuckers came to get their ass whooped. How about you shut the fuck up and come get this fade bootleg, Kakarot? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Vegeta. Not going to lie, you do look good in blue. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, zesty ass Kakarot. So this man Vegeta <laughs> was time. Bro started going crazy. Boy said, you gonna put some respect on my name, whole ass nigga. But while this man Vegeta keeps on pummeling him, this man Black smirks and looks at him like, bro, you done yet? So oh, Vegeta oh, jumps oh. off this man so fast. Wait, hold on, pause. But Blood was like, ah, oh, hell no, nah, I think I done fucked up. So this man Black walks out the pit, <laughs> dust is off the gi, and oh, yeah. drops this man to hell. So this man Black walked back and he like, for a lowly primate, I'll give you your props. So let me give you a reward. So this man does the ultimate transformation as bro hits him with the Oh shit! Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Behold, primitive mortals. Feast your eyes on divinity. Super Saiyan Rose. Uh, what the fuck is this zesty ass transformation? <laughs> Quit hating, ho ass nigga. You should rejoice because I am divine. Hey man, we already knew you was kind of freaky, but this is kind of fucking weird, man. Yeah, that's right, right pussy. pussy. Oh, shut your mouth, Vegeta. You were just the opening act. Now leave the stage like the bitch nigga you are. So this man Vegeta get mad. He started rushing him and everything again. But oh God, Vegeta. <laughs> Why, bro? Bro stabbed oh. him in the chest! And then bro says, Why, well, thank you, Vegeta, for the warm-up. And also for keeping my seat warm at that round table of yours. Now, toodaloo, pussy. Ah. Vegeta getting disrespected again. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Bless our souls. So this man, Goku, tries Goku to fight him. Ah. But he immediately gets molly -whopped. And then he came. Now, that's enough, my nigga. Save some for me at least. And then you see this man Zamasu. Lord have mercy, these brothers about to get jumped. And dear God, this is one of the most demon tag teams you will ever see. So Goku starts scrapping with Zamasu. Then Black come out of nowhere from the top rope. And they is seriously trying to catch a body right now. So then Zamasu like, I thought we agreed that Goku was mine. But I'm sorry, my brethren. But I want to have fun too. So we shall run their pockets together. So this man Black started rushing Goku. And this is such a copycat. Bro stole his transmission and he put that goku out of commission so then we end up seeing trunks fight zamasu so trunks stabs him bro's like wait a fucking minute why is homie not dying so then he hit him with a final flash and that ain't work and then zamasu ends up revealing yes you lowly mortal you probably get it now don't you i'm 
immortal. So then this man Goku come down, then Zamasu and Black do the ultimate tag team move. They hit these boys with a finisher. Black starts charging up at Kamehameha. Zamasu holds both of them down and they blast these niggas to high heaven. And there got it was GG after that. They was done, bruh. Zamasu just threw their ass on the ground. So while they about to finish him off and they taking 50 million hours to charge up this blast, Vegeta comes in and saves the day. And then the rebels come in and they hit him with some tear gas. So they ended up having to go back in time and fleeing back to the present. But since they know that Zamasu was working with Black, they went back to Universe 10 and Beers wasted no time. Nigga said, Control Alt Delete. Uh, out of there. And he ended up erasing Zamasu from existence. Or so we thought. The super ooper duba mega one. Yeah, alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. We have finally reached the end of the road. And it is time to put the puzzle pieces together. So they jump back to the future thinking everything has changed since Beerus erased Zamasu. But Dragon Ball time doesn't work like that. Cause these two niggas are still here. And then they just straight up reveal everything to him. Goku was like, hey, we know what the fuck you did. You grabbed the Super Dragon Balls and you went to wish to buy this fake ass copy of me. <laughs> Copy? Oh, how wrong you are, you dumb baboon. I'm Zamasu. Wait the fuck? Then who's that nigga? I am Zamasu as well. <laughs> Wait a damn minute, so what the fuck happened to Kakarot? Can't you tell? I stole his body, then I killed that nigga. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, this is when stuff just got absolutely wild. So this Zamasu is from this alternate future and Goku Black is also Zamasu, but he's the Zamasu from the regular present timeline. And even though Beerus erased him, this Zamasu has a time ring. So anything that happens in the past doesn't affect him. And the reason why this man did this is so petty. This man said, oh, Goku, you had a role to play in this fuck fest of a time paradox. That day when you whooped my ass, me, a god, was the last fucking straw with you goddamn mortals. So one day I walked in on my master. The nigga was watching GodTube and I saw you, your motherfucking ass, number one trending, 10 million <laughs> views in five hours. You were putting up Mr. Beast numbers. So obviously I left my hate comment because I hate you. But the reason I hated you so much was because I wanted to be you. I wanted to be inside of you. Pause. Yeah. Pause. Pause. So I decided to kill my master, grab the super dragon balls, and take your goddamn body and kill you with it. Oh, but ladies and gentlemen, this is just the tip of the iceberg because it gets even worse. So Brody jumped timelines to the alternate future, killed the other Goasu, and allied himself with himself. Nigga, what the fuck? Bro has taken self-love to another degree so then they got the future dragon balls of this future made this nigga immortal then they destroyed them then decided to kill all of the kais of the 12 universes indirectly killing all of the gods of destruction then they started their zero mortals plan to eliminate all mortals in the multiverse nah g this is ridiculous all because he lost a fight. <laughs> now, when I say, if that ain't some sore loser stuff right there, one fight caused all that. One fight. One. Oh, go. Nigga lost some fight and became Thanos. And nah, then they started giving a speech on why they saved Earth for last. They was like, you earthlings deserve the highest of the punishments. All of you are sinners. All you do is start wars, bicker over politics. Pay $29.99 for a bitches only fan when the hub is free. Cancel Mr. Beast on Twitter every time the nigga does something somewhat good. The 
Thanos was right. Mortals are a sickness, and therefore, they will be cleansed by Zamasu. So they get the scrapping, and these niggas is getting their ass whooped with elegance. Look what he did to Vegeta. Perry, 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 Perry. Garbage. Weak ass nigga. Go join your daddy in the corner. So they end up blowing them up. And then Goku. <laughs> Oh, God. So Zamasu come down to this man looking like a Disney Channel bully putting his hand on the wall and shit. And then he says, oh, Goku, I know I stole your body, but do you want to know what I did to your family? Ah! Yeah, that's right. Tell that nigga. So after this man stole Goku's body, he showed up to their farm, killed Goku with his own body. Then he said, ah, fuck it. Might as well kill the rest of the family, too. And then he killed Chi Chi and Goten. Dear God, bro. Oh, nah, no. this man Zamasu is the ultimate psycho. Bro really killed a man's family over a grudge. But now nah, this man Goku went crazy as he rightfully should and started giving them boys the hands up. Look what he did to Zamasu. Nigga said, fuck up my face. So then Goku just started looking at Black's body. But then this man Goku gets hit by the nastiest finisher of all time. This nigga Black said, get the fuck off me. Then blood hit him with the prepare to face my blade, pussy. And God. Oh so yeah, the divine last <laughs> Night, night, monkey. Oh yeah. Best finisher ever in Xenoverse 2. Oh. oh, Goku, bro. This just one of them arcs where Goku got his ass beat worse than Vegeta. Cause Jesus, they got their ass whooped so bad that Goku and Vegeta had to leave. Trunks had to hold them off in this new form, which they was not phased by. Black looked at that shit and said, oh, wow, kid, I thought you were gonna go blue or some shit. <laughs> but uh, what the fuck is this? Nigga, you ain't shit. Then proceeds oh. to whoop Trunks' his ass. Bro said all that screaming and hollering for what, nigga? And look at this, they made Vegeta do the goddamn electric slide. Nigga said, <laughs> so after they end up leaving and Trunks somehow finds a way to get away from this fight, they end up coming back for round, round three. So during round three, multiple things happened. Vegeta low-key got his get back, Zamasu almost got sealed away, and Black made a f***ing scythe and cut open a goddamn pocket dimension. Hey, yo, then he had shadow clones coming out this hole and jumping these oh. guys. But then... While they thought they had them on the ropes, the Zamasus revealed their trump card. You pathetic, lonely mortals. You niggas must know your place. And they do the unthinkable. They combine to make the one and only divine menace. My form is justice. My form is righteous. Worship me. Praise me. The almighty, all divine. All hail Zamasu. So yeah, bro, this man Zamasu was a sick ass motherfucker. This man decided to fuse with himself. This is narcissism to another degree. But then this man was like, you should know your place, you lowly apes. So this man started raining down divine lightning. And this just didn't even hit Goku and Vegeta. Look at the collateral damage. Oh, gone. Poor motherfucker got eviscerated. So then Vegeta started attacking. Bro looked at him and said, How dare you attack me, you filthy motherfucker? Pass the divine lightning. Oh, the great heavens! <laughs> then they tried to attack him again. Bro put out his hands and said, ah. You dirty mortals are invading my personal space. That's a sin, and you shall be punished. So man threw him and hit him with some divine zesty justice. And they tried everything. Trump said Vegeta hit him with a father-son gallet gun. And that nigga was like, foolish side characters. You think your character development will stop me? Know your place, mortal. So they put this man Vegeta out like a damn light. So then Goku came up, so Zamasu was like, foolish baboon. Just because you're the main character, you think you can defy a god? God of my ass. The only god I believe in is my lord and savior, Jesus Christ. Ungrateful swine. Ain't not a dead. So with the power of plot, Goku turned this nigga into Harvey Dent. Then he started beating uh. his giving him the footsies. 
and he beat this man's ass so severely he beat the divinity out of that nigga bro lost his halo so now we have gotten to the point where Zamasu has lost his mind. So bro started losing it. This man has lost his sanity. And bro grows his big ass, mutated, toxic ass looking ass arm. Buddy, I think you need to get that checked out. So Goku and Vegeta ended up realizing that there was only one way to stop this menace. And that was to become a menace yourself. Yep. Well, who the fuck are Welcome you? Welcome back, I'm the nigga that's about to whoop your fucking ass. Call me Vegito. Oh, uh, you dead talk shit to a god? Damn right, fuckface. <laughs> so foolish. You mortals' brain must be the size of a pea, thinking you could stand up to a god. How foolish. I mean, who would have thought? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but nobody's trying to hear all that hoopla. Also, your breath is hot as hell. You should put a divine tic tac in that shit. So Vegeta started fighting Zamasu, and I ain't gonna lie, Zamasu was getting cooked. Also, nigga was talking mad shit during this whole fight. Bro was like, What's wrong, you big ugly bastard? You was talking all godly and shit, but you can't even keep up with my mortal ass. Shut your face! God, Lord. Witness the power of a god, nigga. <laughs> nigga, eat a dick. <laughs> Bruh. Oh. Over with. Mm, mm, mm. Them boys just took a hammer fist from the gods, but through the power of plot, Trunks comes in and saves the day and gives Zamasu the stiffy and shoves it up. His <laughs> Mega pause. And that was the end of Zamasu. Psych! Okay, so here's Oh yeah, I forgot. Crazy. Yep, so one over. Is immortal, right? This man said, all right, all balls out, nigga. Bro spirit bonded with the universe. And this nigga turned into Gygus. He started covering the earth and spread his essence throughout the universe, also affecting other timelines. So bro spirit just said, fuck it. He destroyed earth. Those poor little kids that they tried to make you feel sorry for, eviscerated. Kame's house, eviscerated. And it got to the point that Zeno had to get called to erase this nigga. And not just erase this nigga, erase that entire timeline ladies and gentlemen we are done here case closed sit the fuck down god bless america and i pray to god this nigga does not haunt you in your nightmares <laughs> god lord and that is why i think zamasu had to be the greatest thing to have ever happened to dragon ball super Greatest thing. Until it got overshadowed by another strong person. Tournament of Power. But we're not going to talk about that. I'm going to let CJ the Champ get to that. If he ever gets to that and talks about the guy. But that's it, y'all. Jada really in the building. If it ain't real, you ain't rich. We out. <laughs>